Have you ever been in a vehicle that you just don't get? That's where I am right now. This is the 2020 Ford F-250 Tremor. And I don't get it. It's a big truck. I get that. I get why that would be appealing to people. Uh, and I get why that would be useful if you use it in the manner in which it was engineered and intended to be used. Now, with the Tremor package, which isn't that expensive on the bottom line of this thing, I think it's about two grand for a Tremor package, you get 35 inch tires on 18 inch wheels, you get beefier suspension, you get underbody protection, you get a little Tremor sticker on the outside. So you've, you've created an off-road package that's above and beyond what, say, like an FX4 package might be. So that's cool in theory. And then the F-250 is cool in theory, but when you put these together and you're running around and, and you're driving an off-road vehicle, you don't want to have stuff in the back. You don't want to be towing while you're off-roading. So the suspension is bouncier than you would expect it to be if you've driven other F-250s, and that's because there's nothing in the bed. So when you're not towing or hauling, this thing is stiff and bouncy. And then when you go off-road, you're too big for most of the trails. So I just don't get it. Like if you're gonna, if you want a truck and you want to go off-road, there are a lot of great options. They just don't need to be three-quarter ton trucks. Now with the Tremor package, you can get it on the F-250 and the F-350 as long as you also upgrade the engine. The base engine is a 6.2 liter V8. This has a massive 7.3 liter V8. And then there's also a crazy turbo diesel, which makes 1,050 pound feet of torque. I believe the highest towing capacity, if you spec it appropriately, um, these can tow like 30,000 pounds. That's not with the Tremor package, obviously, but there is an F-250 or 350 out there with the diesel engine that can tow 37,000 pounds. That is bananas. I'm sure this one can tow like 24,000 pounds, which is still so much to tow. You can tow a house. Now, back to why I don't get this vehicle, specifically the Tremor. I understand the F-250. I understand those of you who are regularly towing, using this to haul a fifth wheel around, um, hauling race cars. Just, you know, if you're putting this to proper use, I get it. I understand why you would want a big truck to do that. And these are nice inside. This is comfortable. Um, minus, you know, the unladen bounciness when rolling down the highway and around town. And this isn't even a top spec. This is an F-250 Lariat that then has been given the tremor treatment. I once drove an F-250 Platinum from here, Orange County, all the way up to the Bay Area and back, towing my 65 F100 I used to own, and that was like driving an S-Class. Um, that thing was amazing, especially, you know, you had a load over the rear and it was good to go. So, back to the, why the Tremor. It's too big. This is a massive truck. It, it, it's comically large. Um, the red paint is bright and in your face and it does look good. This is like the truck that somebody who was just hired to be a firefighter buys and they're all excited and they show up to the station. Everybody's like, oh God, one of those guys. Uh, when everybody else has like normal vehicles, like he has to have the red truck and the red, and I'm not trying to make fun of firefighters here. So I, 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 sh I should walk that back a little bit, but I, you know what I'm saying? The eager cadet, not the, the, the long established firefighter though this is maybe what the captain drives because <laughs> this thing is not cheap this as tested let me get the sheet so i have the exact number here as we're off as we're froden not really okay as tested 73465 74 thousand dollars let's just double check the tremor package while i'm sitting here Tremor package is, oh, it's $4,000, okay. Still, wheels, tires, suspension, I mean, that adds up. So $39.75 is actually you know, a good deal for wheels, tires, suspension, underbody protection um, from the factory. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna quibble over that, but that has pushed us over $70,000 in a Lariat. Not a Platinum, not a King Ranch, not a Limited, 
in uh, a Lariat, F-250 Lariat trimmer. That's crazy. That's, you, like, just, if you're not towing and hauling, and if you are, you shouldn't get the trimmer package anyway, but if you're not towing and hauling, and you want to go off-road, just get the Raptor. What, like, what are you doing? I mean, you're spending that much money, uh, you know, you're, you're almost at, and if you need the V8, spend more and go get the, the Ram, the TRX. I don't want to call it the T-Rex, I don't like that name. The TRX. There are other options out there that make more sense, unless you specifically want to be able to have some fun slipping around in the mud in this thing. Here's where this makes sense. If you live in wide open parts of Texas and you're commuting through oil fields and then you also have a fifth wheel that you're towing because this is set up so that you can do, if you want, you can do the gooseneck um, right in the bed, really serious towing. Um, that's, that's who this is for. This is for someone in Texas with lots of land to just rip around on uh, and doesn't care about the cost of fuel in this thing. and. And doesn't care about the cost of this thing either, because otherwise I just don't understand why you would, why you would, not get a Raptor over this. Like if, if you if you want to stick with Ford, and get the Raptor, it makes sense to me, you know. Um, it, it's just it's just too big around here. This is too big of a vehicle, and I, I like big vehicles. I, I have fun in in large trucks, you know. I I, I get I get them. I do get them. I, I don't think that the average person who buys one actually needs one. The person who does buy it for its intended use, you know, that it, it makes sense. I have a neighbor who's constantly going camping with a large trailer. And actually, I think they just tow with an older 2500 HD um, Silverado, like 10 years old, and they have no problems at all. So you don't need a thousand pound feet of torque that this one doesn't have the diesel this is the 7.3 which i think is around 485 horse 470 something torque i'll put the actual numbers on the screen this one has a 10 speed occasionally off the line it feels like it's hunting a little bit that is a very nice motorcycle um so does it look cool yeah it, i mean it definitely looks cool it's a big red truck with black wheels and um when you do get on it you know the engine wakes up and it makes some good noises uh, but driving it, I had to commute on the 405 the other day in this and just moving through traffic on the highway. is just big and stupid. It's such a dumb exercise for doing that with a vehicle like this. So somewhere in the middle of the country with a little bit more space or even in, you know, if you want to stick in California, you know, go up north and go inland and you just need space for something like this. And otherwise... I just don't see this making sense. And if you actually want to buy this to go off road, what are you doing? No one wants to see this thing coming down the trails. There are so many better options for actually off roading. And if you want it to be nice and bring your friends, just wait and get the four door Bronco or, you know, uh, like I said, get the, the, um, the Raptor. If yeah. I, I don't get it. I do not get the F-250 and good Lord, an F-350 Tremor. Um, thankfully, I'm surprised they're not offering an F450 Tremor because, you know, why not? Let's get a $120,000 absolutely useless off-roader. Uh, I don't know. I feel like if I would jump this, it would be comfortable. That's not the point of it. It does have a rock crawl mode, I will say that. There are there are different driving modes for off-road, so there, there is some capability and, and technical prowess baked into this by the engineers at Ford. But again, are you going rock crawling in an F-250? What the fuck are we even talking about here? Um, come, or, you know, buy this, don't get the Tremor package, get a trailer and a side-by-side. -side. Boom, problem solved. Don't buy the Tremor. If, if you need an F-250, get an F-250. If you want to go off-roading, buy an F-250, not the Tremor package, and get a side-by-side, -side, or just get a Raptor. Shwow.